finals time, Stellar. Immediately getting that Whiplash. sniper. I'm not sure who was able to uh, get away with the camouflage, but already we're seeing sniper on sniper crime. It's formal on one side with Optic Gaming. Then you have Stella with the sniper here for Space Station. You know I love me a good sniper duel. And so far, Stellar has been phenomenal throughout the day. It doesn't feel like this guy can miss. And I'm telling you, the best sniper in Halo Infinite at the moment. Stellar can absolutely change a game at any moment, any time when he has this gun in his hands. Ooh. Another body shot leads into the BR, taking down Trippy, who was chasing him down. Meatball off the screen. It looks like Eco advancing that flag as far as possible. APG trying to chase him down, but the last player that was in position, APG of Optic Gaming, ends up hitting the black screen. Nobody gonna stop Eco from punching this one in. That's a 1 0 lead for Space Station once again. It shows how power weapons can really swing a game. The difference is Space Station got control, both the power weapons, put those snipers to work. Optic Gaming seeing the respawn. Just three kills for the players on Optic Gaming. On the other side, Space Station, everyone's getting their turn on the kill feed, pulling flags through. And it might not just be one, Tony. They're not just satisfied with one flag. Eco's trying to push the second one through. Eco able to advance that flag over toward the mid side, not able to relay, but looks like Stellar has his back and he almost has Lucid's head. Does Eco the body shot gonna connect? Eco can't quite turn the corner and Formal is already walking that from across the map. So now the rest of Optic Gaming not able to push for the return right away, but still able to counter pull that one. Now Formal turns around, says hold this for me real quick as he drops the plasma grenade. The rest of Optic clear out Space Station. And now APG continues to run that in. The return is in, but Optic are going down. A tough spot for Formal right there. They thought they had the snipe spawns blocked, but Eco comes off spawn, is able to get on that sniper and uses it to equalize the numbers and prevent that flag from getting too far gone. But the follow-up's not quite done yet. It's a camouflage trippy that was able to pull this flag and he's got it halfway. Timing just right here for Optic Gaming. They're putting Space Station 2 down. Lucid was the first one to fall, but the rest of Space Station are struggling to get to the 50% portion of the map, and that's exactly where that flag is starting to move. Space Station Gaming might have pushed the first one in, but Optic with the quickness tied things up. We have a game once again. That's so quick on that response as well from Optic, and it, it just shows that Optic, sometimes they're going to come out the gate cold, right? But one play can change everything and to me it was formal pushing through getting behind enemy lines getting that casual stick that changed everything and now it feels like they have this map control once again they have the power weapons to push through it's essentially an even game where they have that bit of advantage that they're going to try to uh, that they're going to try to get a game lead score from just barely missing out on the nose scopes this apg but the sticky grenade finishes off his opponent even the S7 connecting onto Eco, forcing Eco to back down, and once again, Optic with all of that damage, taking that 50% map control, taking over 17 seconds until Camouflage and two snipers end up coming up, and APG is fighting for it, but he's out of S7 ammo. Camouflage coming up in a five seconds. Space Station has to find a solution to steal this one away, or else Optic Gaming is going to have a real chance at just getting another flag away. And I bound to suspect the thing. APG was just waiting. Camouflage is down in the middle, but blunders like that from Space Station are not going to lead to a successful game. And we know Bound got that movement, but he just moonwalked his way into APG, <laughs> making that kill easy. And of course, Lucid somehow, through all of the chaos, was able to grab a hold of that active camo. The shots does take down one, and he almost gets taken down himself. Bound slides in to trade out his life for the active camo, but Lucid was ready with the repulse, and Lucid lives. Now in the back of Space Station's base, they end up going three down. Trippy does stop with that flag, but the spawners from Space Station Gaming are still going to have to deal with Optic and, of course, Lucid 
with the S7. At least it shows it's not the kills, right? It's, that's not what's important. It's staying alive and using the sandbox. No one in the game's better than him than understanding what he has at his disposal and how he can use that to stay alive. Staying alive, getting that sniper away, maximizing that effect with camouflage. And although they're not going to get a flagpole and bring it home, what they've done is they put Space Station on their back foot. Optic Gaming's knocking on the door. They're the ones looking for an opportunity to pull a flag and get this game lead. Space Station Gaming spawning on the snipe side as of right now. It looks like all of Optic just looking for that information. And once they gather it, we'll see the collapse coming in real soon here. Pings left and right. As Stellar trying to give information to his squad. Ego starting to advance forward. He sees Trippy and Formal caught on their side of the map. Once as once Space Station Gaming get the kills that they're looking for, they're going to advance forward. But so far... I, I love how much respect we're seeing out of both of these teams. Look how slow they are to, to try to take any kind of space on the map. This is much different than a typical Argyle, a typical matchmaking Argyle match. It feels so odd how we, we've seen the teams really just keep building pressure in the mid map. We haven't seen a lot of expansion from either team yet. It's because every time it feels like a team pushes forward, we've seen an immediate response. But that could all break a break open for Optic Gaming because of Trippy having this camouflage Snipe. sniper and being able to push forward. The last time Lucid had this combination, they were so close to running that flag forward, but Trippy was the one who couldn't quite turn the corner with that flag. Now Trippy fighting for his life right now to stay alive with this camouflage, getting chased down by multiple members of Space Station Gaming. Half the members of Optic now on the kill feed. Space Station Gaming want to play through that, but Lucid is guarding that 50% portion. Lucid with the S7 lining it up. Can't quite find the shot he's looking for. Space Station Gaming getting aggressive here. Formal being chased down. Somehow gets the melee on to bounce. Finally, Formal ends up being taken out here, but so much damage being done by Optic before going down. They, they are so scrappy when it comes to that damage. <laughs> Oh, I love this from Penguin. He, he doesn't stop to think for one second. He's sliding, treating the map like ice, getting in positions, and just trying to capitalize on damage that his team put in. For the last four minutes, we've seen very slow, methodical Halo pushing up to that mid-map, but then Space Station, they they throw a changeup, changing their pace once again, playing a bit faster, and just pushing their resources into the base to find an opportunity to pull. Looks like Optic getting aggressive once again. Space Station Gaming caught on the on their back foot here. Penguin, couple shots onto Trippy, grabs himself that grapple. He might be able to use this to make a great escape, but somehow finds the flank onto Formal. Formal still training out his life there, so Penguin ends up going down. And with that numbers advantage for Optic Gaming and Camouflage coming up, APG needed to value his life, but wasn't able to get the kill. One more second. Camo's up and Trippy is right on it. And every uh, the last three camouflages have really been uh, not in question for Optic Gaming. They've been on top of them, but they haven't been able to really capitalize on it. And it's been because of Stellar. Every time the camouflage has gotten forward, he seems to find them. And well, Stellar, he's got the camo eyes, man. And you are not safe. Trippy seeing flashbacks to his last camouflage disappearing. Still getting tagged up with this S7. He's gonna double back, but <laughs> getting shot from the right to the left. Nowhere to go for Stellar and Space Station Gaming. Three members removed from the map here. Optic already advancing that flag forward. Lucid is watching the long haul side and watching the spawners. Good God, headshot onto bound, body shot onto the second, finishes Killing Penguin off. Three. Space Station Gaming back to back three downs. That's gonna spell another flag cap coming in for Optic Gaming, 2-1. So there's a snake in their grass, got behind enemy lines, but there's no follow up because Formals hunted him down. And now with just three minutes left, we saw how much effort it takes to get a flag. It feels like things have to go perfect and you're just quickly running out of time. Double oh, kill. My gosh. Lose it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, my. So close to getting the triple kill, but the double will be enough because Optic have shown multiple times that they're willing, willing to stay on their side of the map. They're willing to make sure they secure their kills before advancing forward, but somehow Eco sneaks right past the green wall, right past the fence, advancing the slide all the way towards the pistol side before finally getting stopped short there. Now we see 
camouflage once again coming up very soon. Lucid and the rest of Optic three man push onto the pistol side. They're gonna have an easy route from their vent to the camouflage. We're Space Station Gaming. Uh, Lucid's truly a Swiss Army knife for his team. Whenever they need him, wherever they need him, he does. Uh, he gets the job done and able to track down Stellar before he can get positioned with that sniper rifle is going to change everything, giving him another seven bullets to work with. Tony's always a recipe for disaster. Lucid's heating up. He's hitting shots. He's everything that Optic Gaming needs. Oh, nice. Killing. Everything frenzy. and killing, a, including a killing frenzy now for Lucid. And at this point, now he's flirting around with a little bit of a running wide, just five more kills away from doing just that. Space Station Gaming can't worry about that. They need to just push up. And that's exactly what Penguin Bound and Stellar are doing. You have a minute and 20 seconds to try to cap a flag on Argyle, arguably the hardest to fap to do just that. Finally, Lucid hits the black screen. That's going to be huge for Space Station Gaming. They have to continue to grind forward bound onto the S3 side. Nobody in sight just yet. He looks like he's gonna start the pull, but looks like a player spawns right behind him. That's gonna be bad for Bound and SSG. He has to fight with absolutely no shields. The rest of them pushing in. Looks like they're not able to take down Bound. Bound somehow gets his shield back. Now advancing that flight forward. The rest of SSG are watching his back. Finally, Optic get back in the fight, and SSG just weren't ready for that. Bound just wraps the corners, and I'll take you all on. It's a 1v2. He gets two, stays alive. The flag's still out, and Bound has a sniper to look for the players that are overextending, but is it too late? Can he get the touch at the last second? Bound keeps it in play, but off the gaming, they're winning the slays. It's a 2v2 situation, and Eco goes down. Lucid flies right in for that return. Stellar not in position to pull that flag. So once again, 14 seconds here. Luckily for Space Station Gaming, if they do manage to cross the map, they will be able to trigger sudden death. The problem is, it's crossing the map against Optic Gaming, who have literally built a wall, a line in the sand. Nobody able to leak through here. And with that, it looks like Optic will win it out. Two to one, SSG weren't able to force the sudden death a phenomenal start from space station right they come out the gate swinging able to get both sniper rifles keeping optic in their back base pull, uh, get a flag home in the first minute and a half of gameplay